so now uh, again we'll be continuing with the same topic which is money supply but in this video we'll be talking about omo so there are basically two types of things that happens in omo first is expansionary and second is contractionary as name suggest expansionary means when money supply as we are talking about money supply here so money supply will expand right but contra contractionary basically as name suggests money supply will contract so what happens is central bank has this bond and when they think of expanding the money supply increasing the money supply they'll buy the bond okay they'll buy the bond and if they buy the bond they'll have to pay money for the same and money for the same will lead to increase in money supply and similarly in contractionary since they basically aim to decrease the money supply they'll sell it to the people and will take all its money supply so it will reduce money supply in an economy and this will increase money supply in an economy now if you remember the conclusions that we derived from the previous video which was price is inversely related to interest rate so now we'll understand how these expansionary and contractionary are going to impact the interest and price level now before understanding the implication is expansionary and contractionary here are two relations that we learned previously that we are going to require here number 1 is price and interest rate are inversely related and second interest rate and money demand are inversely related okay so expansionary means when rbi will basically buy bond buying bond will lead to increase in money supply i'm so sorry uh, here we are not con considering the fact that fact here we will see by as they bought the bond demand for bond will increase now as demand for bond will increase its price will increase now using this relation as price will increase interest will decrease now using this relation as interest will decrease money demand will increase leading to this expansionary policy which is expansion of money demand similarly in this case they'll sell bond leading to decrease in demand of bond leading to decline in price of bond leading to increase in interest rate and leading to decline in money demand and that is how it has contracted or reduced the money demand in an economy so that is it for this video